What's up, guys? Kelvin here. Today, I'm going to show you one of our new products, the inertial frame. And then um, we are working on both style. One is X, the X style frame, and the other one is uh, DC style, uh, the deck cat style frame. And we're still working on the deck cat because uh, we are waiting for the DJI new air unit, as you guys know. Uh, there is a lot of leak already, and then we are trying to make the deck that style can um, work with the new camera, the new DJI 4K camera, uh, without the, the prop view. Uh, and, and, and if we can make it good enough, then maybe you don't need a GoPro on top. Uh, we will see, because we still don't have any spec on, uh, on the, the new DJI camera yet and, and uh, hope they can make some things very very good for FPV and we don't need to put an actual GoPro on it. So this is just an ideal thing and we are still waiting for the spec for that camera that we can put in. So this is another thing we're still working and back to the X-Frame that we already released. This is the X-Frame and uh, the name is Inertia. Why we name it Inertia? I don't know. Maybe you have to ask Darren. And uh, Alex, back in July, Alex uh, was here and as an intern and he helped me to make video and also like, work with me together to make some products. And, uh, and also we're testing a lot of product here, especially the all-in-one, the Infinity all-in-one fright controller. And, um, and he just keep asking me like, hey, Kelvin, can we make a, a frame? I, I want to make a frame that I really like. I want to put all the idea that I like to, uh, into a design. And um, can we try to just make it? So we start to design the frame and then uh, Alex basically just hand draw the whole frame out and then uh, work with our mechanical engineer. And we make a couple different revisions and test them and finally uh, we have the product ready. This is the first revision and you can see on the side, the side plate for the camera is a little bit different. It's also, it's still hot mounting uh, for the camera directly to the carbon fiber plate. This is uh, the revision B and this is the A. So the revision B, what we change on here, we make the camera plate backward a little bit and also the shape is different and also the camera mount it's not on the carbon fiber plate we make the camera to mount on the 3d print parts so uh, it can help with the vibrations uh, create by the propeller uh, and then transfer from the motor to the whole body so uh, as the test result we feel this is better so the final product is like uh, this style. The other things I want to bring up is the screw mounting. We're using this three position lock style. It's basically three screws for each arm. If you break one arm, you can just release one, two, three. For example, if you break this arm, you just release three screws and you can take out the arm and you can replace them. And, and this is the revision B we are trying to use smaller size hardware like the m2 screw in here but it end up i feel m2 it's probably not strong enough so we changed back to the m3 style screws like this one this is the m3 and the other things is uh we have a led board we have a led board on the back uh, we are still making the productions for the LED board and we will have that ready uh, to come with each frame that we sell. So you can have the LED uh, to wire up to your fire controller and you can choose whatever light color you like. It's RGB LED controlled by Beta Fright. And uh, for the other things is uh, the camera mount. I want to bring up again. So we have different type of camera mount. Like this style, it's a 3D printed camera mount. Uh, it's basically a super low profile. The GoPro, when you put in the GoPro, uh, let me take this one out. Okay, so the other things is the GoPro mount. 
we have this action cam mount that it works with a uh, M4 hardware. You can just have up this two holder and then just pop it in and then uh, you can lock into it and you can have different angle. We also have this style, it's a 3D print mount, low profile and uh, like this one. This is a horizontal style mount, low profile. You can slide the GoPro in and it looks like this. And we also have the vertical style mount. It's also low profile. If you need to mount the GoPro vertically to film some video for TikTok or Instagram Reel, then you can use this kind of mount. Like this. And it's also using two standoff to slide into these two positions and just lock in by four screws. And this is another style. And uh, we provide different angle. We will have 20 degree and then also 30 degree. And I know some people use 10 degree. Uh, we can release the 10 degree file for people to print by themselves. So what is special for this frame? We are trying to make the frame as light as possible, as skinny as possible. So the arm, the skinniest part on the arm, it's six millimeter wide. And then the thickness is also six millimeter. So it's like a square, it's like a stick on the arm. And this frame is designed to work with most of the 30 by 30 stack or 20 by 20 stack. And we prefer to use our Infinity All-in-One Fry Controller. And currently this frame is designed to fit with uh, 20 by 20 and 25 by 25 footprints VTX. So you can either use Cadex Vista Runcam Link or the new Worksnow VTX. And of course we will make it able to fit the DJI Air Unit 2. So it's a very very simple structure frame and the performance on this frame is really good. And currently we have internal test for two months. And uh, personally, I really like the performance of this frame and also the look of this frame. And of course, I know some people are gonna ask, are we going to release the six inch or seven inch frame for the inertia? Yes, we are working on it. This is a seven inch arm. And uh, the whole body is exactly the same structure, just different length of the arm. And then you can have a seven inch for this configuration. So it's a very, very simple frame. If you need to know more information about this frame, just go to our website and check it out. And this is the package of the frame. It comes with all the carbon fiber hardware and also the majority of the 3D print parts you will need to build the drone. All right, so here is all for today's video. Thanks for watching.